Hello everybody, welcome back to Language Litigation Integration Part 134, Casual Conversations 58. It's been a whopping five or six days since I did a YouTubes, because I've been a, first been moving. So we'll do current events and talking points, relevant and random stories. And the first most important one is moving sucks fat dicks squared plus 69. So, so that's why I've not been doing too many YouTubes. Because again, if I could just so pay my money, I'd do it again the full unassemble, reassemble moving day. I go out and go to the golf course and everybody else does all the shit and I just show up and it's all done. But we still can't do that yet, even though I can afford it, I still don't have a time frame, so it's just like, why would I not do it myself, kind of, a little bit. So I'll probably get some, oh, I'll definitely get movers, which I gotta call them to make sure. Uh, I said, I'm doing U-Haul a good review. I got some more movers, gotta make sure they're on, on schedule. I just bought a mattress for $1,600, and box spring, and protector. So, got a mattress, got TV installation tomorrow. I got, I had, I had, I, so I had Art and Sasha, some nice Russian th chaps, help me assemble some furniture yesterday. They did a good job. So we have a funny story from them. We'll start off with that. <laughs> so, so again, clearly, clearly Russian natives are uh, Russian natives, and they're assembling, uh, they're uh, installing my, my washer and dryer. And so there was some, you know, uh, uh, putting the washer onto the, the, the water connections. And there was again some small leak, and and Sasha goes, asked, he's trying to ask for a towel, and I couldn't really really hear what he was saying, <laughs> because Art spoke a little bit better English than Sasha, but they were both clearly I mean, heavy heavy accents, but it was hilarious. Art goes, or Sasha goes, I need a towel, towel, towel for small water, and then and then Art goes, not not like, trying to be professional, like. It's not small water, it's little bit of water. And I, I honestly, I did not laugh. Probably not a funny story if you weren't there, but I just thought it was fucking hilarious to give him heavy Russian accents. Small water, not small water, little bit of water. I thought it was fucking hilarious. <laughs> but I hate moving. Fucking everything involved with canceling this, this utility, signing up for this one, all of that shit absolutely fucking hated, so. First talking point is moving sucks fat dick squared plus 69. Next, uh, on to the current events. Trolls, troll telling AOC she's his favorite big booty Latina. LOL to the 69th power. Which I have, so I'm absolutely for some AOC uh, pornos. So we can, uh, we can send that over to me. I'll subscribe to the LB fans. I will sign up for that. <laughs> but I thought it was fucking hilarious, the video. And AOC, I heard what she said. She like, that she was she, she might be handcuffed or not handcuffed, and that's some more drama or something. <laughs> Who fucking knows? But we had a, we have now we have a false we had a false report of an active shooter at the World Series of Poker main event. So some good, I, I think it was just like it's obviously a false report. You good seeing those pictures of people. Oh, let's just play some cards. Oh no, need bulletproof desks now. Flip them over. Oh, Johnny's all mad to go shoot up the poker event. Uh oh. Duck and cover! Run for the exits! <laughs> it was just a false false flag. Uh, unlike, you know, the, the 9,000 other mass shootings I'm sure I've missed in the past, like, four minutes. So, that was pretty good. Oh, we, we did have, we did have oh, there were four dead, several injured in Greenwood Mall, Indiana, stopped by a 22-year-old. So, again, once we had the, we had the no guns allowed sign and that really deterred those active shooters like oh we're gonna go mow down human beings and almost certainly get shot and killed in the process so i'm gonna be worried about guns are prohibited and so i think it was like, tw like, tw like 12 seconds or something like i said they shot like i don't know eight times hit him six times or something but obviously again in general are is no guns allowed going to help anything no just just no so yeah, that was a, that was a case where someone with a good gun shoots the guy with a bad gun, actually. So, but again, still we still don't need that many guns. We really don't need that many fucking guns. But we had oh, because again, our law enforcement ever do their job? Oh, absolutely not. No way. No way, Jose. We have a sword oath to uphold and enforce the law. No, nah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Constitution, but except when it matters. Whoa, 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 whoa. definitely not. Fuck, fuck all that shit. 
<laughs> but we had a, a New York cop is on desk duty after arresting an EMT for hitting his car with an ambulance door while the cop was in the ambulance bay. So that's good. That's good. We have dying person being rushed into the hospital. Oh, he's losing blood. He's hemorrhaging. We need we need a CPAP machine for sleep apnea. Or we need we need that we need the other cardiac arrest machine. Come on, Joe, give it to me. No, oh, fat Bill the cop. Oh, Bill the sisky. Oh, fuck. Don't don't hit my door. Don't don't hit don't hit my door. I'm trying to I'm trying to save people's lives. Sit here eat my fucking donut, fat fuck. Oh, don't ding my car that the city pays for. I'm parked illegally in your fucking ambulance bay trying to save people. Fuck, <laughs> <laughs> cops in this country are so fucking worthless. So utterly fucking worthless. <laughs> so no, we should not respect cops. They're just trash. They're just fucking trash. But I said, I watched the video of the, the, the EMT getting arrested. It's just absolute garbage. But again, you offend a beta male fuck, they're going to get offended, they're going to sort of assert any authority over you, over you they can, and then, well, they're, they're, to them, they're just defending themselves. Again, like, every 100% of human beings I've ever met at any point in time, ever. Ever, never, always, 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 ever, always. Plus five. We had an explosion at the Hoover Dam in Nevada for you, you Columbus, Ohioans, not, not the little one on Sunbury Road. Big, big, big explosion. Not sure what caused that, but... Definitely, definitely some, some boom time at Hoover Dam. We had Schumer and Democrats reveal cannabis legislation package. So it's going to be an uphill battle. They're going to need all the Democrats and 10 Republicans. Yet now we have, we have the Republicans who just, just, they're so illiterate. They're so fucking illiterate. Again, all Paul, if you identify with politics, you're fucking retarded. And, and you could contribute to society. You wouldn't be fucking blabbing on about dumb shit. But anyway... So now we just we just had the abortion thing where we were just we're, we're strict constitutionalists. We all care about the Constitution except when Brad cites the Constitution every fucking day with millions of dollars on the line to to like do something. And the answer, well, definitely fuck no, yeah, whoa. And so, so now we're gonna say you know we have the right to life, and then bam, it's not in the Constitution. But now, but now, and then they say, well, Brad. Cannabis was made illegal within the Controlled Substance Act of 1964 because of incompetence by the legislation going off the top of my head. It's something like Schedule 1 has no accepted medicinal effects. And right back to definitions of words, what's medicine? Does it cure ailments? Does it help ease pain? Does it help reduce tumors that express ligands that are directly lock and keyed by cannabinoids? That would qualify as all of the medicines plus 69. So now, now, well, because cannabis was by our, our, our profoundly literate elected officials, no, no medicinal value, clearly medicinal value. Well, well, up, oh, up, oh, it's against our beta male values of don't do drugs, work hard. I mean, people have never been so stressed before where you can't fucking eat food because you've been kicked out of society, like I have. So, you guys don't know anything about biology, don't know anything about pharmacology, you don't know anything about medicine. All you know how to do is react to group sentiment to get a job to come and pay your bills, which you fail at, like, profoundly. So, the legislation is going to be an uphill battle because everyone's so fucking illiterate and we hate fucking medicine and helping people in any real fucking way. And we hate freedom. We hate the freedom to choose to consume medicine that's medicine and helpful and medicine is helpful and cannabis is helpful and nice. But again, immediately the conversation was, again, just the media press release of New York Times or whatever the fuck I read was like, you know, and I quote from some dumb fuck, it was like, the policy is now fa f fast outpacing the fucking science. I am the fucking science. I am still living, breathing, snorting science all fucking day. And so when I just say, get yeah, dumb people to say whatever the fuck they want, they just project their dumb shit out into the fucking world, and they say, we don't have any values, and they look to the dude next to them, and they say, are you scared or insecure about the same things? And they don't have to say it out loud, and they all link up power numbers. Don't forget to kick the fucking sheep. So no, the, 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 the science has outpaced the policy by about, I don't know, hundreds of thousands of years? Yes, correct. Remember. Law is going to consolidate the human behavior based on the values of the species, which is nothing. Which is fucking nothing. 
So no, we need to get it legalized and again, and it's, 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 fuck this country. I'm so fucking done with this country. Again, keep killing your kids. Keep not giving cannabis to fucking kids with fucking cancer because then they die faster. That's really, really what we want to go for because we're stupid. We're so fucking stupid. Right, Ben Shapiro? We don't know anything about drugs because you're privileged. You're so fucking privileged. You've never had to make a choice for your entire life besides, oh, I'm going to develop some sort of skill so to talk on my podcast for two days and I'm going to have 10 million subscribers the next day. And if I keep doing it, I can make money. Oh, oh, but I don't know anything about biology. Nothing. And now you're going to make, now you're just, again, projector values, which is nothing. This fucking country is just AIDS, man. But the only thing I, the only, I don't give a fuck because I can access cannabis, but I want to sell CBD interest to alcohol, which is a monster of a fucking business, but you can't do it because, again, the FDA won't let you do actual scientific progress or trials. You can't have normal, I can't walk down a convenience store aisle or go into a gas station without CBD everywhere. So now you put antioxidant into something that causes oxidation, therefore, well, we're in the, well, well. And I did get an update. It says that we, the, the, the FDA seemed, we've, I, I guess my partner subs, Submitted something and we've passed some test or something. Well, fucking obviously. What a surprise! Brad's good science. What, 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 what a fucking surprise, guys. Who could have guessed it? The most empirically aware person ever is good at science. Wow. Shocker. But I want to sell this shit. I want to fucking sell this shit. I want to start a business. Freedom, America, family, entrepreneurship. Where the fuck is it? Not here. Joe Biden tests positive for COVID-19. People ooze brain cells. Oh, Joe's been quadruple vaxxed. Yeah, he's fucking 80. Like age, like age. You get older, you're more susceptible. Your cells are less responsive. We've covered this. Oh, oh I'm a Republican, I'm still fucking retarded. Yeehaw. Oh, Jim Jordan. Fuck Jim Jordan. Fuck Jim Jordan so fucking much. <laughs> Proudly representing Ohio, you're a stupid fucking piece of trash. Worthless human fucking being. Excuse me, dumb animal. But yeah, people get older, they're more susceptible to the disease, and again, we get the flu shot every year. It's not like he's not like any biological process. It's going to wane. It's going to it's just going to come and go, just like your entire fucking life. <laughs> uh, real altars have something in them. Just a historical fact, and then some stories. So yeah, just thing I've been talking about outside, still doing lectures pretty much every single fucking day. But yeah, it was definitely a historical thing. So there's a trinity, there's a trident, there's a there's some sort of three-pointed thing. And just like our piano strings vibrate when you play the same tone, I bet a lot of fucking money, going on 99% confidence, world government somewhere, the holies of holies, maybe the Vatican, maybe the world government over here, something that vibrates. Well, there's signals, however, Momo and Sage, dog, family, moved out a couple months ago, but there's signals every six months. Where? On what? Hmm. Getting closer. Getting fucking closer, guys. <laughs> All right, now a couple stories to make sure I'm still rolling. Oh. So, meeting Scott and Key. Met two more of my neighbors, and I'm literally out of here in two days. But I was just walking around after dinner around my apartment, they have this like gazebo thing that didn't have anything under it for a while and they put up some like chairs. So it's like, a, you have just like this table, these big wooden chairs, I don't know, maybe eight of them in a pretty close circle type of just gathering area to sit and chill, just chilling in the chairs. But walking around my apartment after dinner, go to sit down there and I'm sitting down there just enjoying the day and two of my neighbors come on over. And again, it's a pretty, pretty close place where, again, it'd be kind of awkward if you don't just say, hey, like, hey, what's up, like, to somebody else sitting there. Like, not in this public space, you can see where the fuck you want. But it's just, like, kind of weird to not, like, be like, hey, what's up, man? Just casual, casual, hey, casual conversation, what's up, man? And so Scott and Key sit down and say, hey, how's it going? And then they were like, you get immediately get the question, what do you do? I mean, I said, no, I said, I guess, at first I just said Navy. Because again, when I talked to one of the other dudes at the pool, I asked him because the FBI said so he wanted to get in the Navy. So again, I'm assuming it's like maybe they are in the Navy already. So it's like, this is like Navy. <laughs> and like, and then they, Scott got some, that's what I did. And then I was like, what? <laughs> but he was like, but I said, they said, I said, no, I listen. Just as like a, 
I hate the question, what do you do? Because again, I own businesses. It's like, if I start listing them, all sounds like I'm an arrogant dick. I don't know, I run businesses. But it's like, I even hate the question in general. It's just like, talk about something else I don't fucking know. But immediately, he's like, and then, and then, I, cause it's like, the first, the first telling me was like, if they're just normal fucking neighbors, why the fuck wouldn't they just be polite and say hello at some point? I mean, this is like a close area. And they're sitting right next to each other. So if there's just a normal neighbor, which I always assume they're just normal fucking neighbors, so they don't say anything, so I'm just like, well, then they probably know who I am, I guess. And then, and then I started asking Key about, you know, what's more interesting, the, the water or the, or the ocean or the sea, which is another, right, the speed of light is C, the letter C, but we have two words, C and ocean, which, as an English speaker, that's not really logically distinct to me, but they're, they're distinctly different words. So, just, again... If, they're, if they, they do know something, if they're in the government or if they're in the academic circles and they have some sort of evidence that they can talk about, I'm just looking for little, little bits and clues here and there. They might not have anything. Because I don't, you, you, you're, besides a bit of technology, there's nothing that affects anything I fucking do whatsoever in terms of my derivation. Nothing. You can provide me history or technology, besides that, I don't give a fucking shit at all. So it's just like, again, why are we still torturing Brad six years after unifying the natural sciences? I don't know. Well, I'm a scapegoat to the point of slavery, so people get used to it after two years, so that's, it is what it is. And so, then I started asking Key, it's like, so I asked Scott what he does, he said he was in insurance, Key didn't really answer, and then she was like, you know, you know so it's like, again, the first tell of me was like, they didn't introduce themselves, or just like, say hey, like, just like, wave and say hi, they just like, shuffled in and just sat there. So I was like, hey, what's up? <laughs> and then, but Key was like, uh, what did she say? What did she say? Oh, she said something to the effect of, you know, there's things on land you have no idea about. It's the kind of digestive tract. If it's biology, biological, logical, I just draw, drove all of science from logic. Literally. For real. So, yeah, I can't imagine biology. No, I most certainly fucking could. In any, it's, it's morphology, anatomy, structure, it's going to have a digestive tract. Prove me wrong. If it's alive, it shits. And besides me, right, there's... A lot, a lot of people idealize women and say women don't poop. False. I don't poop. I've reached fundamental enlightenment. One-to-one -one conversion of energy. No, I, I, totally, I totally actually don't poop. But for real. Just, just kidding. <laughs> but, <laughs> so she says, like, you won't, you won't be able to imagine anything. Anything. It's just like, just like, fucking, fucking Christ. Because if it's just normal fucking people, I hate small talk and I hate disrespectful interactions. If it's people who, again... Maybe aren't directly involved, but have heard something, maybe like Prashant or have gossiped behind my back, which is still gossip behind my back, and then they come up, but they're still disrespectful. The thing that I want is these disrespectful interactions to fucking stop occurring. They can't stop occurring every time I have to deal with someone who's 20 to 50 to 60 who's a fucking child. They don't know how to fucking behave. They get offended, they disrespect me, and then they don't give a fuck at all, and they just go back to their day, and it's the only type of interactions I have ever had in my entire life. And so, then it gets just like a whole, it's like a five minute conversation, maybe. And I'm just asking him, and then, and then they're like, they, they, just, like it's like, all right, I'm going to get on out. And it's like, it's just like the weirdest fucking interaction ever. And as, as Key's walking away, here it's like, I'll let you get back to thinking about water. Like, like making fun of my pronunciation. I'm the most prodigious linguist ever. Key, you said X. Can I ask you a question? Bitch, learn to speak. Ask. Dumb fuck. But they're from Detroit. And they didn't know where Holland, Michigan was. <laughs> and I've looked at them and I'm talking about, again, just small talk. And I don't want, I like small talk, but they're sitting there awkwardly just sitting there looking at me. And so I asked, I was like, they're like, why would you look in Michigan? Because it's decent property value and it's close to fucking Ohio? Like, fuck? It's just the weird, again, if it's no, they have no idea who it is, it's just a disrespectful interaction. I want them to stop. If they know something about me, go fuck yourself and go to jail. And if they're directly involved, go to prison. Like, those are your three options. Pick a door. Let's make a deal for all zonks. <laughs> Suing Scott Basil and Blue Medicinals for discrimination and damages. So again, another, another experience of when I just exist with normal things. I bought a, right here, I bought these transdermal topical patches at a dispensary. I've gone to Blue Medicinals on Georgesville Road pretty much for, I don't know, two, three straight years. It's been my only dispensary I've gone to. And so I buy these Main Street Health Patch, one to one, 10 milligram three pack, 30 milligrams THC to 30 milligrams CBD. So I got one open, which was pretty cool, and I actually enjoyed it. Um, 
but the, the, they're, they're cut too thin, like it's mispackaged, and I've made these before. And so uh, you can't open them. Like there's no way to, uh, to get to the, to the transdermal part without cutting into the actual patch. You can see I've like cut, I've cut down to the, like this is the sides, I mean come in wider packaging and I've cut down to the sides. And so again, I've made everything in a, dis in a dispensary and I am a pioneering entrepreneur in the space. And so they're, they're mispackaged, they're literally just mispackaged. And so I just called the dispensary up to see again, I've never bought transdermal patches from them, maybe, maybe I'm missing something. And so I call up there, again, this is my normal speaking voice, and, I'm in, and I was in a pleasant mood. And I'm just trying to ask the, the front desk lady how to open these things. And right off the bat, you can tell they're fucking 18 to 28 year olds or 29 year olds or 30 year olds. And they're just these edgy fucking weirdos, like all of my weird fucking old wannabe friends who don't know how to behave. And then she's like getting, like getting, like, like laughing, like, like getting mad and like condescending to me because I don't know how to open a transdermal patch. They're mispackaged. And I'm just trying to ask them if I like ask them and immediately she starts getting all like weird. And, and then she just hangs up on me. Again, I've not raised my voice, I've not sworn. I'm literally asking them how do I open the patch? And then I call back and then I get this manager, Scott Basil. And again, I can literally talking to Scott again, the same condescending. Again, he's probably getting a blow job from he's probably fucking one of the employees because he's worthless. He has to go to a think about that, he has to go to a building. Suck another human being's dick to pay his bills, and he probably can't do so any, any, as well anyway. Probably can't pay his bills fucking anyway. So this worthless fucking human being, Scott, is just condescending to me. And again, I'm not raising my voice. I'm not screaming at him. And then you know, there's just like, what? And he's about to hang up again, and I'm like, literally just trying to open my fucking patches. And I'm just like, what the fuck? Like every interaction my entire life. And he's like, I, I don't. It was like, I don't like your tone. This is my normal speaking voice. Like if you don't like my tone, like what? what would you like me to use sign language over the phone? But then, but then he starts, like, he gets offended, and then he wants to assert authority over me. And so he starts asking me four or five times in a row, what is your first and last name? What is your first and last name? And at this point in the conversation, I have not raised my voice. I have not yelled. I have not, I just, I'm literally like a, being cornered as an animal because it's just these pathetic fucks that I don't gang up on. You're like every worthless fucking human being I have ever, ever met. And he's like, what is your first and last name? What is your first and last name? I said, go blow your fucking head off, man. I'm trying to open my patches. This is fucking healthcare. He goes, oh, that's it. You're banned from all stores forever. And again, to the point where he was asking for my first and last name three, four, five times in a row, clearly going to ban me anyway, had not raised my voice, had not said anything disrespectful. He told me he didn't like my tone. It's my normal speaking voice. So how the fuck is someone like Scott Basil in the goddamn cannabis industry? Get him the fuck out. So as far as I can tell, I got a phone call back. I called their corporate and their regional offices. I got a call back from some chick. And then she said some lady is Tia or somebody else was going to give me a call and we did not. So as far as I'm concerned, I am permanently banned from Blue Medicinals for trying to ask your employees how to open a product. And Scott was like, you know, why don't I accept returns? I was not trying to return. He was just trying to assert authority over me. He's an insecure, fucking worthless piece of shit that just sucked dick to pay his bills. He's a fucking worthless American. Like every goddamn other worthless fuck on this fucking planet. And so I'm with Scott Basil shunned out of fucking society. He tells me I don't deserve health care. He doesn't deserve to eat and sleep. Annoy him. Fucking annoy him all the fucking time. When he goes to eat, eat, eat at restaurants, kick him the fuck out. When he goes into stores, kick him the fuck out. He kicked me out of the fucking stores, and he raised my voice. Literally called to ask him how to access healthcare. And some pathetic fuck, again, probably fucking the employees, and they're all, they're all festering insecurity, festering insecurity, normal person have a normal day interaction, and then bam, no, I don't have easy access to healthcare. Plenty of dispensaries, but it's just that I looked around for the best prices, they had some. So it's been this dispensary I've gone to forever. So I'm suing Blue Medicinals for discrimination, and it's at least Scott Basil personally for discrimination and associated damages, emotional damages for however long I have to think about this. And and I want Scott Basil the fuck out of the cannabis industry and I'm shunned from society. He told me I don't deserve healthcare. You don't know the fucking struggle I've gone to fucking have access to healthcare for over the past nine fucking years of my disgusting fucking existence. I am so done being treated like fucking shit because you guys do not raise your stupid fucking children. Stop having them. So Scott Basil, fuck you, you have an enemy for life full real. And again, you're a, you're a mid-level manager at a shitty dispensary. Blue Medicinal, you got a big problem on your fucking hands and it's not going away. Once you're on here, it's, it's fuck you forever. And again, you can't pay me and I don't want to, again, the, going to court is the war option. I want to fuck you people. 
I want to fucking treat you. I'm a man of equality. As you've treated me, I will treat you. That is the golden fucking rule. And most importantly, these people do not know how to behave, and they're going to spread their shitty behavior into society at every step of the way. I have never met a single fucking person capable of moral behavior. They just come, play sports, and that's it. So thank you for watching Language Litigation and Integration Part 134, Casual Conversations 58. I'm going to step up the, the output content quite a bit. Once I can, again, in the past nine years, I've never had a, somewhere to s put my head down and sleep and feel safe and not get harassed every two fucking minutes for more than, more than two weeks, two months at a time. And I've had to move every eight months to 18 months over the past nine fucking years. So maybe, uh, maybe I will be able to actually sit down and, and fit into society enough to educate myself. At this point in my life, I've still not been able to go to school and participate in society in any meaningful fucking fashion. People get grants to do education. People do get grants to do research. People do universities to teach. People do online courses. People have music careers. I am not allowed to fucking participate in society because people will not let me the fuck in. So, if I ever break that fucking barrier, it is fucking war. Thanks for watching.